Hi everyone. Guess who's back? Bob again. Bob is back. <laughs> Tell a friend. Basically, Eminem is back. Um, well, he was already back with his upcoming, with his new single, lead single, uh, Walk on Water with Beyonce. At that time, I was very festive. Uh, I was like, finally, we are getting a new track by Eminem. And uh, it, it was amazing. Uh, it was an amazing feeling. And also, the song didn't, didn't disappoint. Uh, even though, like, I don't really listen to it that often, but I still appreciate a lot uh, about the song. I love the fact that Eminem spoke about his feelings, uh, about the present, what is going on in the rap game right now, uh, and his own sufferings, of course, uh, about it. But today, um, I'm not sure what kind of a track we're getting. Are we getting a hype track? Uh, we have been uh, waiting for like a more hype track, you know, rather than like a ballad. Uh, so, and I'm actually hoping for the, uh, you know, that beast Eminem that we all love. However, let's see, like uh, from the album cover, it seems like we're gonna talk about, you know, America, we're gonna talk about struggles and problems uh, one more time, and we'll see how it goes. Still no complaints about that, because Eminem is my favorite artist. I actually uh, said recently in my other video that um, David Gill is my favorite artist, my bad, David Gill. You know? Uh, is my favorite DJ and uh, along with Kevin Harris but we're not talking about DJs no more we're talking about real rappers so let's get into it Eminem finally untouchable first reaction let's go okay familiar you know vibe familiar sounds like typical Eminem you know already okay I still don't understand the beat, what's going on? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, I see, I see. Where he's coming at with this. Huh. I actually... <laughs> Having mixed feelings about this one personally. I think it's just like a matter of growing, you know, with the song needs to grow. Though, especially this one right now. I don't know why, but I cannot stop banging my head though. That's already something, at least, you know. Oh, yeah. I was actually. I didn't know. I didn't know actually. Um, like what to even say uh, like uh, the last two minutes of the song is just like try to understand uh, what he was talking about you know um, there's been there's a lot of going on and uh, this time I actually won't be you know talking in detail uh, about this track uh, as I did on walk on water uh, you know not gonna do a crazy breakdown of the song this time. I will do it, however, on uh, December fifteenth when the album will come up, come out, and we're gonna uh, uh, enjoy hopefully <laughs> a revival. And uh, I really expecting. I'm really still waiting for that album. Uh, like in <laughs> finally, I hope that it's gonna drop on December fifteenth. And um, uh, for this track though, Untouchable really having like mixed feelings i'm not sure um like before before digging in to this track if i'm saying it correctly in english <laughs> anyway like uh before i listen to this track right now i uh, was on twitter uh people were again like talking you know that eminem 
like all Eminem was better. Eminem is not like capable of delivering a fire anymore and stuff like that. Like, uh, or people were also saying with this album he's ruining his career and it's like, like sometimes you know like it, it, uh, those negative uh, things like they they still get you on your mind even though you don't think like that you know you don't feel like uh, Eminem like is fading and I mean of course yeah maybe he's not that huge and that relevant as he was in the 2000s obviously but still you know Eminem is really huge and everybody is waiting on uh, Eminem's album uh, it's Eminem people are still gonna hop on this no matter what you know even just to say that he is trash if they think that uh, he is trash you know like uh, he's a controversial figure um, so haters and lovers they all gonna hop in uh, the problems with this track though I feel like the beat is just not that uh, <laughs> I hate to say this but catchy you know like uh, or um, like good you know like that tasteful kind of nice beat that will carry and that will uh, make you want to listen to it more and more uh, come back to it again and again uh, as it was the case for with the Eminem's previous uh, work you know I was really um, hoping to listen to Dr. Dre's production and Rick Rubin's production and they uh, did the majority of this album if not the whole album you know like they helped Eminem to shape this album uh, like they're top producers you know like and I'm expecting from Dr. Dre at least like great beats but here is like we are getting something different uh, it's more like a berserk style which is fine because I like that track uh, it was insane it was he, I mean like it was a great track um, but here like it, it took a lot of um, times you know listening to actually grow on me that berserk track uh, hopefully that's the case in here as well but so far like I'm actually like I'm not really into this track unfortunately uh, there were a lot of cool transitions and of course Eminem is uh, delivering uh, you know his messages at, at his finest you know like at his best as he can um, like clever bars and shit like that but like I'm just having some issues with the production of this song itself uh, the rawness like here uh, usually it's good thing here it's not I think like the rawness of the track uh, the feel like wasn't that great maybe uh, if it would have been more polished if it would have been like more like in a different way done different way maybe it would have been better but it, it's just my opinion my opinion has already changed uh, as I am editing this video actually uh, like after listening to it one more time I'm actually already liking this track way more and I actually not proud of what I said before this anyway uh, well we'll wait for a revival also on uh, December 15th there's a saturation 3 by Brockhampton also uh, an amazing uh, hip-hop um, group you know we're gonna uh, react to their album it's their last album uh, together unfortunately Saturation 1 and 2 was a blast and everybody enjoyed it uh, sad to see them breaking up but uh, hey <laughs> we're gonna get a lot of good uh, solo projects um, from the from these members uh, Kevin Abstract, Marilyn Wood, um, Matt Champion and so on and so forth uh, also there's N.E.R.D no one ever really dies album also on December 15th so a lot of things gonna happen on the December 15th we are all waiting for this uh, amazing uh, rap uh, records uh, including Eminem's of course revival so stay tuned and uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video also don't forget to subscribe if you like this boy today uh, or if you already subscribed uh, you know comment below um, how have you been how was your day, by the way? Uh, How was uh, things with uh, Christmas? You know, are you ready for Christmas? Uh, or if you are still struggling through finals uh, like I'm doing? 
Let's let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> All right. Uh, пока. Хайр, Афидерзейн, Арвидерчи, Адиос, Чао, Чау, Ауривар, Хорофис, Аньон, Гудбай.